Hello everyone, welcome to HVAC for Life channel, where we will explore a fascinating aspect of HVAC systems, infiltration. We will learn how outdoor air can sneak into buildings and affect both energy efficiency and indoor air quality. Plus, we will uncover two estimation methods, the air change R and the crack method. Let's dive right in. What is infiltration? Infiltration is when outdoor air sneaks into a building through little openings like cracks and gaps. It's like a secret entrance for air you didn't invite. Imagine a tiny breeze finding its way in without asking. How it affects air conditioning? Infiltration plays a trick on your air conditioning. In summer, it lets warm air inside, making your AC work harder to keep things cool. In winter, it brings in chilly air, making your heater work overtime. This can cost you more energy and money. How to calculate infiltration? There are two methods commonly used to calculate infiltration. These methods are air change R and the crack method. ACH method. The ACH method calculates infiltration by considering how many times indoor air is replaced with outdoor air per hour. Here is how you can estimate it. Determine the air changes per hour based on factors like building type and climate. Measure or estimate the building volume in cubic feet. Use this formula you can calculate infiltration airflow. Example for ACH method. Imagine you have a house with 0.5 ACH and a volume of 10,000 cubic feet. Using the formula, the estimated infiltration airflow would be around 83.33 CFM. Let's move on to crack method. The crack method simplifies infiltration estimation by treating all openings as one continuous crack. Here is how to calculate infiltration step by step. Step 1. Calculate the effective leakage area, total area of cracks and openings. Step 2. Choose a crack width, example, 0.25 inches. Convert effective leakage area to equivalent crack length using this formula. Equivalent crack length, in feet, is equal to effective leakage area crack width. Step 3. Use this formula you can calculate the final infiltration rate. Here is the example for crack method. For instance, if you have an effective length area of 150 square inches and a 0.25 inch crack width with a pressure difference of 0.03 inches of water column, the estimated infiltration airflow would be about 1896.18 CFM. Remember, a little fresh air is great, but too much can cause problems for your air conditioning and your comfort. So, it's essential to consider infiltration for a proper HVAC design. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more HVAC topics and tips.